What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we have got a package. Alright, so if you guys ended up seeing my last video with the Enduro 24 for the tiny gap in it build it is done a hundred percent and I got that finalized now which is right here and uh, as you saw it run <laughs> that thing runs great so now my next project that I am going to be working on has to do with this guy now in my one video, I uh, did say that I was going to donate this body was getting donated onto the RGT 136240L. But I kind of changed my mind. So, <laughs> my plan with this thing is to get it to climb up that boulder. Still a work in progress. Still want to get this thing to climb up that boulder, and I'm not going to quit until this thing climbs all the way up that boulder all by itself. So, unfortunately, I will not be replacing the body on this RGT with the Tundra body. Um, I also If you guys saw my last video, my uh, SCX24, the rear drive shaft, kind of uh, <laughs> got donated to the Enduro 24 uh, drag build. So I have something for that. And the Gladiator, I don't really have anything going on for that. So, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, we have got a package and what we're going to do right now is open up this package for a reason that is actually on this table here. So here we have Another box, a box in a box. Don't you guys just love a box in a box? I love a box in a box, a box in a box. Best thing in the world is a box in a box. <laughs> but I also have, whoa, sorry guys. Let me put this box over there. I also end up getting drive shafts, which are in here, hopefully you guys can see it. I also ended up getting drive shafts that are going to be Going into the C10, that is kind of why I just brought it up. Um, but that's going to be another video. The main reason why I'm kind of building the, I'm sorry, the main reason why I'm kind of making this video today is just for the main fact that the Tundra body. So, like I did just say, I'm not going to use the RGT for the Tundra body because uh, again I still have something I want to do with that RGT which is climb up that boulder all by itself without me having to put it a little bit up I want it to climb up that boulder by itself and get up getting to a tippy tippy top of the boulder so what I wound up doing was box in a box boom there we go I ended up ordering another 136240L version 2 but instead of it being a 
Land Rover body, I decided to get the truck body. The reason that I ended up getting, even though it is the version 2, which is the exact same thing as the RGT, um, Land Rover body, it's the exact same thing. So I ended up ordering this truck. For one, it was cheaper, about like $10 cheaper than the RGT, the Land Rover. And uh, that's basically why I got it. And for what I want to do with it, I figured it was perfect. So we're going to be opening this bad boy up. There we go. Move this over a little bit. So we're going to open it up. <laughs> and we're just going to open it up because I kind of want to see this guy. And as everybody knows, the RGT, the RGT and the Enduro 24 are basically the exact same rigs. And I'll admit to you guys, I like this thing. It kind of uh, looks like a Cherokee, a Jeep Comanche. Kind of, if you gotta take a look at it, it kind of looks like a G Comanche. Let me lower the sliding a little bit because I'm getting blinded here. There we go, I think that's better. So, in the packaging, we get, of course, the RGT 136240 version 2. Uh, we get that guy, and in here, we get charger, some more body clips, and parts, and of course we also get the controller, and that's it. So, with this guy, as you guys can see, there really isn't much of a difference with them. Um, the front bumpers are the same. Again, this is the 136240 version 2. Wheelbase is exactly the same. The difference the, um, to these two is the difference to these two is that this guy does not bring the rear bumper like it's on the Land Rover. Underneath you guys can tell it is exactly the same. I mean the shocks are the same. Shocks are the same. The servo is the same. Everything on this guy Everything is the same. Everything is the same. Let's look under the body here. There's that. Here's the Land Rover. It's all the same body clips. It doesn't matter what goes where. So again, it is the RGT 136240 version 2. Let's move that body out of the way. And as you guys can see, it is all completely exactly the same. Of course, it's the same thing. The only difference is they changed the body. So if anybody, I actually got this thing on Amazon, I think for like 90 bucks. Uh, so, on Amazon, if you guys end up seeing this guy, basically, preference-wise, is the body. So, whoa, bud. It 
looks like the links are a little longer on this one. So I'll put them side by side. Now, it looks like the links on the Adventure is a little bit longer than on this guy. So, I think that's the only difference. Other than, other than that, 5200 mah battery LiPo, single cell LiPo battery, it's exactly the same, the same ESC, uh, everything is exactly the same. So if anybody ends up seeing the adventure on the, any website, on Amazon or any website, I'll actually put a link down in the description where, where this guy was that I got him at. But it's basically the same as that. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is basically getting this guy to sit like so. <laughs> and I must say, the links on this are longer. The links on this one is definitely longer than it is on this guy. Yes. The links are definitely the RGT, the truck. I'm going to call the Jeep Comanche, the truck. The links are. Uh, I want to say they're a little bit. Yeah, they are longer. They are definitely longer. So I got some work to do with that. My luck is that I actually ordered hmm. my luck is that I had actually ordered some links from the Enduro 24 here that might work to shorten the wheelbase on that guy. So let's bring him back here again. So this is going to be my next project, guys. I am going to get this body to sit on here. But as you guys can see, the fronts are kind of lined up. Let me uh, bring you guys in a little bit. Whoa, hey, how are you? So as you guys can see, the fronts are pretty lined up. And the rear wheel from the rear from the center of the wheel well there is not where I want it to be. So I am going to try out the Enduro 24 links that I got here. Try out these links to see if I can shorten up this wheelbase so they can line up perfectly. Uh, and then after I get this guy set up and ready to rock and roll I'll tell you what the one thing I really hate about these is there isn't much travel in the front I mean there is but uh, there is but there isn't like the back has all that bounciness in the back and the front that's that's as low as the, the front can go but the rear I can actually push it down pretty far as you guys can see right there but the reason for that being I don't know what the hell is the reason for that oh there's so much droop in the suspension there's so much droop in the suspension hopefully you guys can be able to see it here let me do this so there's so much droop in the suspension there as you guys can see right there all that droop. So when I do push it down, it's worse when it's laying flat, but you guys can see that it's already. Uh, if I bring that up, you can't see it. But as you guys can see, the steering rod right there, 
the steering rod right here to the horn, steering horn. Put that down. See how there's all that droop and just that's why I don't really have much to play with because the front hits right there. As you guys can see that. It hits the front bar there. Steering bar. I have a couple things that I'm gonna have to do to get this guy <laughs> to get this guy to uh, work out properly. Um, again, like I said, one of the first things I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to shorten up the rear. Another thing, which I just remembered, I got this body. Hard plastic, Chevy, Silverado, Z71, that... I could probably do this too. So guys, let me know down in the comments section. Let me do this. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think I should do. Should I do the Tundra? Which I personally like the Tundra body. Personally, I like the Tundra. Or should I do the Chevy? Either way. Either way you put it. I still gotta shorten up the rear bit with the rear. I still have to shorten up the rear, uh, the rear, the wheelbase there. Either way you put it, eh, yeah. Cause that's about it right there. So either way, I'm gonna have to shorten up. Eh, I might not have to. Yeah, well. So either way, I'm gonna have to shorten up the wheelbase on this body. I did not think that it was going to be that big of a difference. Um, well, that totally got me by surprise there. Yep, completely got me by surprise. I, which I kind of don't understand because the wheelbase on this kind of looks the body. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because this body, realistically, well, of course I have the body upside down, but. I mean, the body works perfectly on there. But why is it that on this guy, I might be wrong. It might just be because of the way. So this is a new chassis that just came in. Or this guy. Sorry about the glare, but what do you guys think? Tundra or Chevy? Let me know down in the comment section. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Should I just do the Chevy body or should I do the Tundra? I personally, <laughs> I personally really want to do the Tundra body just for the main fact that I really like the Tundra body. Um... Yeah, I really like the Thunder body. So that's like... Grrr! Because <laughs> I really like the Thunder body. I mean, I don't know. The Chevy body is nice. I like white. I do like the white. I do like the white. Let me know in the comment section. Chevy? Or the Tundra? Um, 
the if you guys haven't been able to tell but the tundra or well, i mean the chevy i'm sorry the chevy body i don't know if you guys can tell or not but the chevy body kind of does kind of is a little bit wider than the uh, Toyota. So maybe this way you guys will be able to tell a little bit better. But... The Chevy is a little bit wider. So I think the Chevy would sit nicely on here. And nah, it's about the same thing. I, guys, I really like this Tundra body on there. <laughs> hey, you never know. I might be able to do something where I can interchange them. Um, I can interchange the bodies, and one day I feel like the Tundra. I'll leave the Tundra. One day, I'll, hey, I'll rather do the Chevy. But we shall see. Um, so that's that's pretty much where I'm at with this guys I um, I I I I I I was uh, kind of hoping sorry so I was kind of hoping to get that figured out but even I'm right now I don't even know where to go with that so, with that being said, let's open up this package, which brings some drive shafts for the C10. And if I could find my scissors, that'd be great. All right. So... I decided to get some drive shafts for the C10. Well, mainly because the C10 was very, very nice. And the C10 donated his stock drive shaft, or its stock drive shaft, for this guy. And I'm very thankful for him for doing that. Let's, you know, I. Very happy that he did that. <laughs> so since since I did that, I um, needed to get some drive shafts for the C10. And what I decided to do was get some, hopefully you guys can hear it. I decided to get metal drive shaft for it just for the main fact that I think it deserves it I think it deserves it it was again it was very nice and it donated its drive shaft for the Enduro 24 so yeah, I think it's only fair that he gets new ones <laughs> so that's what I wound up doing so I'm going to be putting on the drive shafts uh, front and rears on the SCX24. Uh, the other thing, I don't think I said anything about it, but I also upgraded the suspension. Hey, how are you? I also upgraded to the. Bleh, bleh. I also. Jesus Christ. I also upgraded the suspension on the. C10, if you guys can see here, they are internal spring. See, you guys can see this one back here. Internal springs um, that I ended up getting for this thing. And unfortunately, I have not tried it yet. Um, that video, I don't remember what video it was. but um, So yeah, I upgraded the suspension for that. Uh, if you guys saw the last video with the Gladiator going out for on that adventure, which was really nice, I really, really wanted to take the C10 out there. But since the C10 was not 
able to go out, I decided, let's get behind here. Uh, since the C10 was not able to go out and have a little bit of fun, I you know, decided to take out the Gladiator, Gladiator and see what it did. Hopefully you guys end up enjoying that video. Um, if you guys want more videos like that, you know, just hit me down in the comment section and let me know like what type of videos you got, what you guys want me to do. Um, I can only do so much. <laughs> I can only do so much. Uh, so, uh, guys, that's basically where I'm at. I mean, I am going to be putting on the C10 links for this thing. Um, also, these links did bring some screws here. It's going to be very hard to see, but it brought some light. Uh, see, right there, there you go. See the little guy? See the little guy right there? There he is. So I brought these little guys. It brought four of them that I'm going to have to put in here. So they don't fly off. And with me putting this in here, with the issues that I was having on the with with the Enduro 24 drag car grub screw, you can't even see it, man. The grub screw is right there. It's right there. There you go. See, there it is. So the grub screw um, for the Enduro 24 kept on loosening up. I put some. Loctite. So here you go. Hopefully you guys can see. It. Put some Loctite on there. Uh, threw some medium strength thread locker on there, and I tested it, and it worked out fine. So that's basically where that is. Uh, now I want to throw these guys on. So instead of you guys looking at me, let's. Get down over here, and you guys can see what I'm working on. So with this 24 C10, all right, I'll leave it get that guy going, and it looks like these drive shafts are going. They are going to work. I'm going to have to loosen up the suspension to get the rear in. I'm going to try to get the suspension in. I mean, um, the drive shaft in without taking anything else off. Because that's how I was able to take off the suspension there. I mean, the drive shaft there. Jesus. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be, living in a time where disease is on every screen, I won't let them fester me, I know most are festering, negativity is a plague for the mentally weak, no mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty, I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it, it's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic, I'm go! to last with the webs I'm weaving, I could change the past with all I'm achieving, got my foot on gas, never stop competing, if you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them, make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them, if you take off the you can see all the healing if the pain's in the past Move on from the grave and put your foot on the gas No, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep them out your face, no way, you don't want it Alright 
So, there it is. So the back one now has the new metal drive shaft on there. And I'm not going to do it on camera because this is a pain in the butt. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me try to put drive shafts on. So that's pretty much where that's going to end. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, thank you for liking them, subscribing them, and uh, making sure that I keep on doing what I'm doing with these uh, with these videos. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have already quit doing it and not done it anymore. But I do like it. I do enjoy making these videos, and I do enjoy playing with these things. Um, not just these 24 scales. I got my 10 scales. I got my 1 6 scale, which talking about that you guys are going to want to be on the lookout there is going to be a video coming out for the my Hummer H2 the 1 6 scale I'll put a picture here this guy I got some things for it that I am really really excited about and yeah really excited about that one so guys and girls, uh, stay tuned, man. Just keep watching. And uh, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. You guys keep RCing. Have a good night.